Have mercy on me, O God, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, pour into our hearts the love of your name, so that deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you still are not able even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused a growth. Therefore, Neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who, had, all who had people sick 
with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He did not allow them to speak because they knew he was the Christ. Verses like this from Scripture often puzzle me. We hear in other places after Christ reveals major things about himself, reveals his divinity, he says, don't talk about this to anyone. Keep it a secret. Just yesterday and today, we heard demons proclaiming Christ the Holy One. Christ is the Son of God. Two weeks ago, Peter proclaimed the same thing. Both cases, like the disciples, in their confession, they're silenced in this truth. They're told, do not preach this message. Further, right, Christ is now healing a lot of people. He's doing a lot of good works. Wouldn't publicity like, hey, this guy is the Messiah, this guy is the Son of God, be good in aiding him in doing this good work of healing, this freeing people from possessions? So what is going on? Right, it's tempting for us to say, well, he doesn't want to draw too much attention to himself from the authorities. After all, the title of Messiah or Christ is tied to, is the title that means anointed and has political and kingly, kingly connotations. So maybe he just doesn't want to draw too much attention. He wants to be able to continue to do his labors without the political authorities interfering, without him being shut down. This was incorrect. Right, Christ himself answers why he is, well, kind of putting a bit of a damper on people's proclamation. Why he's not focusing so much on, well, his good works and promoting these things. In the end of our gospel passage, towards the end he says, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Because for this purpose I have been sent. Christ wasn't sent just merely to heal us, merely to remove demons from people. He was sent to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. That is, he was sent that we might be able to receive, be brought back into communion with God, and to enter into eternal life for those who receive him. You see, Christ's miracles serve to demonstrate his divinity. They serve to demonstrate that Christ now walks among us. That he is the Emmanuel, God among us. It's to make known this truth. It's not simply to just heal us. Because our end isn't just here on earth. Now, he isn't merely right just some one man NGO that's around trying to solve all the world's problems. He removes these weaknesses these wounds, these difficulties, these boundaries, these obstacles that stand between us and God, that way we can receive his message of good news. So that way we can enter into his eternal kingdom. This is why Christ came. And so him in this region, having proclaimed the gospel and having healed those who needed to be healed so that way they can receive the message, he says goodbye and continues along. He's con accomplished what he needed to do. His healings further at this point would be now become a distraction. As we'll see throughout the Gospels, people just want food from him. They just want things from him. They get caught 
in the fleshly, as Paul talked about in the first reading. They don't go to the spiritual. So Christ removes back. You have what you need. And as he'll say later, come and follow me. And then he moves on to the other towns. So they can receive, ultimately, the message of the gospel. Not just healing of the body, but healing of the soul, and then eternal life. And in a similar way, though, well, ever so slightly similar, today is also my last day here, and I will be going on to different towns, different places of people to serve. Uh, I thank you for this time, your prayers, your presence. It's been a great privilege to be with you all and to serve you. Know of my prayers. Please, please pray for me. May we all continue to walk and receive this message from the Lord that we might share both on earth but in heaven the eternal kingdom of God. The Lord is the one who makes all things grow in due time and season. We we raise these prayers before him, trusting in his provision. For the church and her shepherds, may God's grace continue to protect and guide them as they share the good news of the kingdom of God with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those serving in positions of public authority, may the wisdom of God lead them in decisions of justice and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from physical or emotional illness, May the healing hand of Jesus rest upon their bodies and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this worshiping community, may the Holy Spirit help us to bear great fruit as co-workers in God's vineyard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, may they one day rise with him to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. For Peggy and Leo Robber and Narashima Rahu Barpathraju, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers we have brought before you, and be gracious to us as you answer our needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, 
Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, you turn life to us and receive them. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. those following by live stream, we offer this spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. So as Deacon Tim said, this is his last uh, mass with us. He'll depart from our parish uh, this evening. But uh, above all, thank you for your work and for your service here. Um, and we made this announcement at all the Masses over the weekend, but for there are many who aren't parishioners or haven't been, aren't coming to Mass, but that they may know too, on the offhand chance that they might have fast-forwarded through the homily as they watched the Mass. So now they've heard it, there's two times. They have no excuse for not knowing. They would, they would do it for all of us. It's not just your homily. I'm sure it's all of ours too. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be 